Captain Kirk, never in doubt. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the experience out there tonight. How cold was it first? You know what? We we're, were locked out. Our, our uh, bench had uh, heaters. Oh, yeah. so we're, the coldest part was playing. So I think it means that we were skating so slow that you're actually getting cold when you move around. So that's not a good sign. Was there any discussion about, like, no, I don't want to go out on the ice. It's too nice on the bench. I mean, how does that work? <laughs> you know, if you know, we only had about 12 skaters. So <laughs> if anything, guys were like, okay, short shift. So we didn't have to preach it at all. But uh, it was perfect. Guys were, uh, guys loved actually get out and loved playing. And, uh, Everyone wanted to get out and participate. Is the competitive blood still the same? You guys, I mean, you're professional athletes, whether you are active or retired or between jobs. Well, you saw, you saw the third period, you know, uh, you know, Calgary cranked it up, so we had to crank it up. And a lot of the active players are asking me that question today. They said, does the games actually get going? And I said, generally, if the game's close and it's down to the wire, they do. And they don't want to read down to the end here today. So uh, everybody's competitive no matter what we participate in. And it showed actually at the end. Your practice uh, this morning, talk a little bit about the conditions and what your impressions were of the, of the facilities and, and what you expect tomorrow. It, it was actually uh, good today, you know, uh, when our team was here from Braxton, uh, ice was great, the boards, the, all the uh, facilities were, were uh, right up the park. Uh, we had a little, obviously a little issue there uh, right now with our group, but we blamed our hands more than the ice. But uh, but you see, they know what they're doing, they're working at it uh, continuously, and I'm sure they'll have it ready to go by tomorrow. Okay, so do you have any feeling about, um, is there any special strategy that you and Jacques and the coaching staff have to organize for an outdoor game? Is the strategy any different, or is this just another game, but under no roof? Well, it's huge two points, you know, so that's the bottom line. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, uh, is the focus, you know, the fact that it's, uh, it's a different, you know, setting here. Uh, it's got a bit of a you know event, um, but I think you got as an athlete, you got to really mentally prepare yourself to say, hey, this is a this is a huge game for us. So uh, put everything aside, keep your focus, and, and play the game uh, really simple tomorrow.